know them are purple banditos, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Black. I'm People Rodri. In the last episode, we made our way here to Nimbasa City, and after helping an old man defeat a couple Team Plasma Grunts, we obtain the bicycle! In today's episode, we are going to be making our way back to the sandy area which we just came from, because thanks to you guys, I know that there are a couple pretty sweet items that we can collect in that area. Now, I don't want this guy to look at me, and let's make our way back through here. Okay, I'm sinking in the sand. I guess bicycles aren't good for riding around the sand. We made it. Now, you look away. Look away. No, no, turn around, dude. No, I'm not talking to you. Hey, there we go. We made it. And I believe that this is the house where we need to go to pick up one of the first items which we have been looking for. So let's talk to this guy. I don't mean to brag, but I'm a dig pro. I'll give you this TM so you can use it too. So there we go, we obtained TM28 Dig, which is going to come in very handy in the next gym. So thank you guys for that. Using Dig in a cave takes you back to the entrance instantly. What do you think of that? Amazing, eh? Be sure to dig and dig some more. What's this guy have to say? Sandstorms are terrible, but Rock-type, Ground-type, and Steel-type Pokemon can weather a sandstorm without damage. Alright, thanks for the tip, my friend. And we are going to be teaching this TM to our new addition uh, in our team. So let me go ahead and teach TM. One of the things you guys also told me is that if you use a TM in this game, you can actually use it multiple times, and I did not know that. This is the first time that I've seen anything like this in a Pokemon game, so I, I really didn't know. I thought it was gonna disappear uh, like all the other ones did. Okay, let me see what move I can get rid of. I am gonna actually get rid of, uh, I don't know. I don't think I'll use Mud Slap a lot, or at least not for now. Uh, nah. I don't know which one to get rid of, but I think uh, I am going to go with uh, Tor... No, I'm going to go with Mud Slap. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of Mud Slap for now. Um, I don't think we'll be using it that much. So I'm just going to go ahead and teach our Shades Dig. So very cool. Thank you guys for helping me find that. Next up, we are going to be making our way up through a highway, it looks like, towards the desert resort. Ooh. Let me just run through here. Hopefully no battles. And I'm going to use a repel because I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm pretty sure Pokemon can pop out at us in this area. So I'm going to go ahead and use that before we have any trouble. And I believe this is where we need to go. Desert resort ahead. It's nicer than the average desert. Now, I, I don't know what an average desert is, but this must be some crazy stuff. Today is January 28th, 2013. Hope you guys are enjoying your Monday, a fresh start to the week. Uh, I know that I am. I've been, you know, uh, pretty busy lately with school, but it's good to get to relax once in a while and just have a good time and uh, we get to play some games, which is always fun. Okay, there's a person up there and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. What is this? We found the black glasses. Not sure what those do. Um, I think they power up dark type moves. Uh, I don't remember. It's, it's been a while since I've owned a pair of black glasses. Uh, we also just found some fresh water and whoa, what is this? Oh, okay. Um, it says, it appears to be a statue of a Pokemon, and there are four mysterious looking statues. So here's a hint for you guys. Um, if you're ever walking around the woods or something, or you're just casually taking a stroll down the desert, and you see, um, uh, five sketchy looking statues in a staircase, you, uh, you go down it. That's what you do. You go down the staircase, and, uh, you hope that you're headed the right way. We have made it to Relic Castle, and this is where we need to be, if I am correct. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to dodge some of these trainers. Because it looks like uh, we're going to have to battle them. I don't really want to battle them. Uh, which way should I go? Can I run through this? What? Okay, I'm falling down a hole. Oh, no. I'm too young. I'm too young. And we fell down a hole. Cool. Okay, great. We find ourselves a revive. Probably a heads up that we're probably going to end up fainting uh, somewhere in this place. Let me go ahead and uh, throw out another repel before we keep on moving. All right, cool, cool. I think I know what we have to do now once we get back up there. I think we have to get our shades to eat one of their faces. So, um, hopefully you guys are on board with that plan. But no, I think we're going to have to battle one of these. So, here we go. There we go, we have done it! And as you guys were able to see from that battle, Shades has Moxie, 
which you guys told me that with every Pokemon that we faint, uh, we gain like a power boost, which is pretty awesome. Uh, okay, I think we're gonna have to battle these two, so let me go ahead and go. Okay, uh, maybe we don't. Let me talk to this lady. I've been carrying two Pokemon fossils, but they're just so heavy. Would you take one of them off my hands? And this is what he, we've been looking for. There's the cover fossil and the plume fossil. Now, I'm actually going to have to pick one of them. Um, I won't be using the, the fossil on our team, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pick the plume fossil. Oh, you like the plume fossil? It is the fossil of a bird Pokemon that lived in an ancient forest, but they say it couldn't fly. So we go. Well, there we go. We got him taped. We obtained a plume fossil. Okay, great. Uh, we put the plume fossil in the items case. The museum in that green city. I hear Pokemon can be restored from fossils there. Cause Lenora loves bones and fossils. All right, great. Uh, can we make our way down here now too? Trainer, you still can't move ahead because there's so much sand. I would do my best to remove the sand. Give me a second. All right, so that guy is gonna have to remove the sand, so we cannot go any further. But that is okay because there are still a couple things which we need to take care of, and we have a battle. So we somehow magically survived that with one HP. That's always great to see. Let me go ahead and heal up Roran. Roran took quite a couple hits there. All right, there we go. Now we're healed up a little bit, and we can make our way out of the Relic Castle. Uh, if you guys know anything more that we can do around the Relic Castle, let me know, and then uh, we'll take care of those eventually. Now, I'm going to make my way back to where we need to be. All right, cool. We still have an effect going on. So let's get out of here. Let's just make our way out of this place. You know what? I have way too much sand in my pants right now uh, that I need to take care of. You know, hopefully a nice shower would come in handy right about this point. Maybe I can get uh, Roarin to do that water spout move and then just clean me up real nice. Let me dodge these guys. And yeah, okay, we successfully made it out of the desert castle and we obtained what we were looking for. That's great. I'm also... Pretty excited with the move Dig now because you never know what kind of crazy stuff is going to come from that move. Um, I really hope it helps us out during the gym. I know that this game is like really hard compared to the other ones I've played. It seems like with every gym and every step further we take, uh, things are getting a lot harder. So I can't even imagine, you know, when you get so much deeper into the game, uh, what it's all going to be like. All right, turn around, dude. All right, turn around a little more. Don't look at me. Just go, please. Just turn around. Come on. Look, there's a girl over there. Okay, cool. Made it. Oh, 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 that one's moving. Oh, oh, okay. I made it. I made it. I made it. I'm good, guys. I am good. Great. Okay, cool. And there seems to be one more up here. Dodge him, and we have a battle. Phew, that one was not too bad at all. All right, let's go back inside then towards Nimbasa City because there's one more thing which we need to take care of today. Uh, I believe it's going to be a little bit harder than I think. So I am going to run over here, heal up our Pokemon, uh, and I'll be back with you guys in like two seconds. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and healed up our Pokemon. Now we are going to be making our way to another place which you guys told me that I should head towards because there's something that we need to do. You're looking for Team Plasma, right? They ran into the amusement park. Come with me. They're not here. Let's ride the Ferris wheel and see if we can spot them. I love Ferris wheels. The circular motion, the mechanics, they're like collections of elegant formulas. First, I must tell you, I am the king of Team Plasma. Getz has asked me to work with him to save the Pokemon. I wonder how many Pokemon exist in this world. Hmm. 
My lord, N! You're safe, sire! There's no problem. You're part of the people we brought in to help us save the Pokemon. So, you're under my protection as well. Go, quickly, and let my battle cover your retreat. Now then, Rodri, do you follow my logic? And I guess we do! Uh, so we are gonna be battling N, but I don't know if his logic makes sense. I don't know what's going on here. So that's how it is. That's unfortunate. Ah then, the future I envision. Perhaps I can't beat you here and now, but I'll battle you anyway to buy time for these members of Team Plasma to flee. Here we go, Rodri versus N, the king of Team Plasma. We are challenged by N, and there is a lot of crazy stuff going on. We are challenged by Team Plasma N. We did not know of his origins. Uh, when I just heard that up there on the Ferris wheel, my heart just skipped a beat. I, I had no idea that this guy was a king. The king of Team Plasma. I, I can't believe it. I'm a little bit in awe. I, I thought... I genuinely thought he was gonna be uh, good somehow, um, but I guess he's the king of Team Plasma, which makes him the ultimate evil in this game. Uh, Darumaka is coming out. I will just keep roaring out because Roran has a good type advantage uh, against these Pokemon, and it seems like N actually has a lot of Pokemon that are on our team. Um, so we'll see how this battle goes. All right, Darumaka is down as well. I, I just can't believe uh, what, what we just found out. That that's crazy. Shades grew to level 22. Uh, Shades wants to learn a move. Let's see if we can forget a move for it. All right, let me go ahead and see Embargo. Uh, it says it prevents the target from using its health item. It's trading off No, you know what? Um, I think I'm okay with uh, what we have now um, because I feel like we'll do good with it. So I am gonna just say no to Embargo. We're gonna keep our old moves. And, uh, oh, no, come on, come on, come on, Shades. Uh, keep old moves and then give up on Embargo. Okay, here we go. Now we can keep on battling. N was gonna send out a Scraggy. Um, I am going to switch out Pokemon for this, and I am going to bring out Floater, uh, because I know that Scraggy is a fighting type from what you guys told me, so thank you guys for that. Let's go, Floater. Let's, uh, let's get this going. Let's get some mix going, and let's defeat the King of Team Plasma. That, that's just, I, that's just crazy to think about. Uh, I guess now we know, uh, you know, what that crowning meant in the, in the introduction of this game. I guess it meant ends crowning. To become king uh did not know that I, I thought there was something about it that would be connected to it but i don't know your pokemon look happy all right let's go for the air cutter come on floater please don't be confused hey there we go floater take out this scraggy and fantastic with that we'll take it down don't know how many pokemon n has left i was way too excited uh for this battle to look um Cygulith is coming out I think we battled that earlier, so I'm gonna switch out and I'm gonna bring out Darunia. And hopefully we can knock out this Psygolith. If I'm correct, it's that uh, Psychic type Pokemon which we battled earlier today. And yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Even if I lose, is it different from the future I saw? You bet, buddy. And here we go. Psygolith is going for the Psy Beam. Oh, come on, please. Please tank it. Yeah! We are confused. No! Come on, Darunia. Yo, come on, please. No, no, this thing's gonna KO us. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Let me go ahead and use a super potion. I also did buy a couple super potions uh, just in case because I knew that this battle was coming up thanks to what you guys told me. So I was a little prepared for it. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try my best to not die or not have my Pokemon faint that quickly today. All right, so let's go for another fire punch. Let's hope that Darunia isn't confused, that we can land it, and uh, we are KO'd by a crit. Woohoo! KO'd by a crit. All right, I'm gonna send out Roran. Roran, let's do this. We have two levels on Cyglyph. Uh, and let's take it down. I'm gonna go for the Razor Shell. That should do quite a bit of damage on it. Or so I hope. Psybeam is destroying us right now. Uh, so that's not good. Let's see. Okay, that did a good amount. Let's just keep on going with the Razor Shell then. Uh, Tailwind. I haven't heard of that move before. Don't know what that does. Um, blow from behind the first team. D does it power up air type moves? Like, uh, wind type moves? Uh, yeah, that's, that's what it must do. Uh, flying type moves. That's, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm thinking Avatar for a second. I don't know why. All right. Cyglyph is going for another one. You know what, Roran? Please don't get critted. Thank goodness. And with that, we should be able to take down this Pokemon. Ah, okay. Well, and you have a tough team there, uh, that you keep building. We gain some XP. And Roran wants to move to learn Water Pulse. Yeah, sure, Water Pulse. Let's do it. I'm going to forget 
uh, that one move we never used, Water Sport. So very cool. We just learned ourselves a new move, Waterfalls. So yeah, we have more than one move to use these days. Shades against Max Speed, we defeated N. The result was the same, but you, who are you? We got 2,200 for winning. You're quite strong, but I have a future that I must change. And for that future, I'll defeat the champion and become unbeatable, unlike any other. I'll make all trainers free their Pokemon. Just try and stop me. If you want to be together with Pokemon, your only hope is to collect the badges from each area and head for the Pokemon League. Try and stop me there, if you dare. If your conviction is not strong enough, you will never be able to defeat me. That sounds like a challenge to me, and I can assure you, we will be accepting that challenge, and because we will be the ones to take the crown at the Pokemon League, and we will be crown champions. The day will come, my friends, when we will stand atop the Pokemon League, and we will be the champions and not N. So if you guys have any tips on the gym coming up, uh, which I'm pretty sure we are going to be going to next, uh, if I am correct, I know the gym is somewhere around this area, and we're just gonna have to find it. Uh, let me know, guys. Uh, it seems like Bianca's up ahead and something is going on. So if you guys have any tips on uh, all this stuff coming up, let me know because this is a huge, huge city. Uh, it's almost as big as some of the other ones we've been in. Uh, so there's a lot to do. If you guys have any tips, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.